Jamie, thanks for joining us. We'll start by talking about your new contract that you signed earlier this summer. Why did you decide that Blues was the right place for you? Yeah, obviously last year uh, was my first season at Blues and I thought the potential that the group had and obviously with Darren as well um, was huge and I knew that obviously the, the new additions to the squad and, and Joe as well coming in, I knew that it was something special this year so yeah, I decided to sign. And you just mentioned Joe there, she'll obviously come in as assistant head coach. How have you found working with her and how do her and Karts work together? Yeah, I think they work pretty well. I think Karts has mentioned it before that he can't be without her now. I've seen that in an interview. But yeah, I think uh, Jo, for me, she's, she's so detailed and obviously she's experienced in, in the league and, and playing at such high levels. So that can only be a plus for us. Um, taking bits off her and, and she's good with that and, and giving detail on, on where you need to be and stuff. So yeah, I'm looking forward to working with her more. And we've been back in pre-season a number of weeks now and it's coming to an end. How have you found pre-season this summer? Yeah, I think with every pre-season it's always going to be tough. Um, but I enjoyed it, um, obviously running and stuff like that. But yeah, it's been it's been enjoyable. Um, but I think we're just focusing now on Sunday and I think all the group, the girls, just can't wait to get going and, and finally start the, the league. And we've added a lot of players to the squad this summer, a lot of quality as well and a lot of championship winning experience. How have you found working with the newbies and, and how excited are you con to continue that and build those relationships? Yeah, absolutely. As you said, the experience uh, that the girls bring, obviously winning the championship is vital. Um, it's a different league uh, for some of us as well. So I think we need to b use that experience that the girls have. Obviously, they'll, they'll show us that. Um, but yeah, they've been great. They've adapted well. And I think it just pushes um, for places in the team and it only makes training better, the quality better. So it's a great. And I know it's probably probably obvious but having that competition it probably makes all of you a bit better and work harder because you know that if there's one performance where you're not quite up to it there's somebody who's ready and waiting to replace you yeah absolutely like that's what the, the signings bring to to the team like we have a not just a starting 11 we have a squad the depth is there and as you said it brings that quality up it raises the bar and everyone wants to be in the starting 11 and i think that's only only vital for training and um, standard wise and stuff like that so it's been brilliant and we obviously had an unbeaten pre-season in our friendlies and we finished last weekend with a victory against WSL opposition in Reading. How much of a confidence boost is the whole of pre-season going unbeaten but also beating a team in higher league? Yeah, absolutely. As you said, we're, we were unbeaten and I think we just need to take all those positives. Um, as well, there will be negatives in those games and, and we'll take that on board and bring it into the first game of the season. And as you said, beating higher opposition, um, it's what we're about. We, we like to kind of go in and give 100% and that's what we'll do on, on Sunday. And obviously going into this season there is going to be a lot of expectation from outside but also within. How have the players coped with that so far? Is it something that they thrive off knowing that we want to be winning the league? Yeah, as you said, that we want to be up there, we want to win the league. I think all the girls are professional in that aspect. Um, they put standards on themselves, I know I do, um, coaching staff do, the rest of the girls do as well. So we know we're good enough um, and we want to go out that and prove that and it starts on Sunday. And like you mentioned, Sunday we welcome Scott Booth and Lewis to St Andrews. What can we expect from Lewis from what you've seen so far? Yeah, I think uh, Lewis are, are going to be very disciplined in their roles and jobs. Um, but as well, we're just going to go in with our game plan and hopefully come out with the three points. But yeah, they're going to be disciplined, they're going to work hard, we're going to respect that. But as I said, we're going to implement our own game plan on them. And just finally, we'll be back in front of the fans and after a, such a good summer, it must be exciting to be back in front of them. Yeah, it's always nice to get back in front of the fans. I think our last our last game was at Villa Park. So yeah, it's 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 been a long stint without them and we're finally back so we'll hopefully see a lot a lot of them out on Sunday. Well Jamie, thanks for joining us and good luck for Sunday. Thank you.